Hello everybody, this video will be a presentation on the 7 principles of HACCP, also known as Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Points. So, what is HACCP about? HACCP is actually a quality assurance system designed to prevent problems before they actually happen. It includes risk assessments, monitoring and evaluation of the food process which helps reduce errors. And as with any system, it needs to be verified to ensure that the system works. A HACCP plan is usually created for a certain food process. For our HACCP plan, we have decided to use sambal staff sotong as our main dish. The dish is actually squid that is stuffed with minced pork meat and then baked with sambal chili sauce. Now, we will go into the seven principles of HACCP. The first principle of HACCP is hazard analysis. This principle requires us to identify the biological hazards that might come with each procedure of the food process and then come up with a preventive measure to eliminate or minimize the identified hazard. For our dish, there are five steps in our food process. Seasoning, refrigeration of the seasoned pork, sauce preparation, stuffing of the squid, and baking of the final dish. Our main concern is the raw pork and raw squid as these ingredients are vulnerable to microbial growth. We have identified four biological hazards in the seasoning step. Salmonella, Campylobacter, Lyserium monocytogenes, and Tania solium. This is due to the fact that the time taken to season, as well as the environment, provides favourable conditions for bacteria to multiply. Preventive control measures such as seasoning as fast as possible should be taken. Working as fast as possible reduces the level of contamination when the pork is exposed to the atmosphere as well as minimizes bacterial multiplication. In the other four steps of the process, there are no hazards introduced, but if not done properly, hazards will arise due to contamination. In these four steps, Preventive control measures generally consist of personal hygiene habits that trained personnel would be aware of. Examples are wearing gloves at all times and not coughing and sneezing when preparing the food. The second HACCP principle is the identification of critical control points. This principle requires us to determine critical control points. Critical control points are any point or step at which control can be applied so that a food safety hazard can be prevented, eliminated or reduced to an acceptable level. We first identified control points in our report and then determined if they were critical control points. The loss and control of control points will cause low probability of health risk, whereas the loss and control of critical control points will cause a high probability of health risk. Critical control points are the points that we need to be aware of as if the critical control point is wrongly identified, serious health hazards will occur. In our food process, we have identified one critical control point eventually. The third principle in HACCP is the determination of critical limits for each of the critical control points identified. What are critical limits? They are the maximum or minimum value to which a biological, chemical or physical parameter must be controlled at a critical control point to prevent, reduce or eliminate to an acceptable level the occurrence of a food safety hazard. In our process, the critical limit for the cooking of the stuffed squid is 75 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. The fourth principle is the establishment of monitoring procedures. After establishing the critical limit, we have to come up with procedures to monitor the process to ensure that the critical control point is still under control. 
Monitoring procedures include visual observations, temperature measurements, and time assessments. In coming up with monitoring procedures, it is important to consider four things. What is being monitored? How is monitoring being done? The frequency of the monitoring, as well as who is doing the monitoring. In our food process, we will be monitoring the internal temperature of the pork meat. The trained assistant chef will pierce the kitchen thermometer into the center of the staff squid. We will be conducting non-continuous monitoring by measuring the internal temperature of one in every five squids prepared. The fifth principle is taking corrective actions when a critical limit has not been met. When a critical limit has not been met, it is called a deviation. This table shows what is being done when a deviation has been identified. The deviation has to be first identified and then it needs to be brought under control. Steps will then be taken to prevent deviations from occurring again. Finally, it has to be ensured that no product that is injurious to health or adulterated is served. The sixth principle is establishing a record keeping system. An effective record keeping system needs to be established to ensure that the system is strictly complied with. Also, having a good record keeping system will allow everything to be better accounted for should there be a major incident like serious contamination. In every step of the process, there must be sufficient records kept. This picture shows a list of records that we will be keeping for our food process. The seventh principle is the verification of the established system. In order to ensure that the established system is working according to our HACCP plan, verifications have to be carried out. Examples of verifications are routine checks to ensure that the workers are doing their jobs and they are also in their proper attire. Workers that are found not doing their job or not in proper attire will be issued a warning letter. With this, the discipline of the workers can be ensured and thus lowering the chances of possible hazards from occurring, be it microbiologically or physically. Another step in verification is conducting microbiological tests to ensure the absence of harmful microorganisms. This video has thus covered the seven principles of HACCP and has hopefully highlighted the importance of each principle when constructing a HACCP plan. We hope you have a nice day.